What's up, world? It's a new day. We are on an adventure. My son's back there. He's asleep right now, but we're on an adventure to trade my John boat for a different John boat. I really wasn't expecting to do this. Basically, the John boat that I have, I can't get it registered. The last owner who registered it, I need a bill of sale from him in order for that to happen. I got his information from the Wildlife Commission. After all this paperwork, me filling out all this stuff to get his information, all they had for me was his name and his last known address. No phone number or nothing like that. So I went to his last known address and it's vacant and for sale. So I have no way of getting a hold of this guy. He's not in the phone books. He's not on Facebook. I haven't been able to find him anywhere. So I uh, listed my John boat for sale on Facebook Marketplace and said, hey, you know, you can't get this thing registered. Pond boat only, basically. Um, and this guy said, hey man, I've got a 14 foot flat bottom John boat. Mine's a V-hole, but he said, I've got a 14 foot flat bottom with a title that you can get registered and stuff. And I would be happy to trade with you. Seemed like a good idea. So that's what we're about to go to do is uh, give him my boat and pick up a new one. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we just uh, got to New Bern. Uh, we're gonna meet this guy to do the boat exchange at Academy Sports, which is right by here. Uh, but we pulled here first and uh, found this boat ramp. Uh, we're not gonna take my boat out. We're about to trade it. We only have about 40, 45 minutes to the trade. So uh, instead, we're just gonna go out here on this dock and see if we can catch some fish. You ready, dude? All right. Fish at the little dock. Uh, it's okay, we're on our way to meet the guy. Let's get our boat. Here we go. Alright, there she is. Quite a bit bigger than my, uh, my other boat. So, that'd be fun. Maybe we'll take it out right now if we have time for the sunset. What do you think? Do you want to take the new boat out right now? Or do you want to just go get dinner? I guess we're just gonna go get dinner and head home before the sunset because I don't have lights on my trailer. All right, good morning. It is a bright and beautiful Friday morning. It's about seven o'clock and my kids and I are uh, taking the new boat out that we got. I want to be traded. Uh, we're gonna take it out for the first time and uh, give it a spin and hopefully catch some fish. We just wrapped up, had a good time on the boat. Did you guys have a fun time on the boat? You guys like the new boat? Cool. Didn't catch any fish, but we went out for an hour of the last, so we had a good time. And uh, now we are heading home. All right, what's up world? This morning is not super fun. There's a potential that I may have COVID-19. Uh, I've been exposed to someone who has it. So I'm uh, getting a test done this morning. They're about to stick something up into my nose cavity. So it's gonna be fun. Hey, what's the name? Uh, Matthew Wagner. Okay. Making sure you're doing all those things to stay, stay safe and pe people around you safe. Awesome. Okay, all any right. questions for me? Uh, no, thank you so okay, much. there's a hotline number at the bottom of each of those pages. If you have any questions, feel free to call them. Okay. You will get your test results back in 24 to 48 hours and oh. they will call you. Great, okay, okay? Th thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good. I'm gonna give you that. All right. Does your car in park? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is have you just hold on to the steering wheel. Okay. Back like that, and relax okay. for me, okay? All right. All right. Oh. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Just relax. The more you squint, the more I can't get in. So I'm gonna have to go to the other one so I can't get in there. There we go. You okay? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Ooh. 
makes your eyes water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I put the car in park. You all right? Cool. Yeah, okay. I think so. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Arguably, one of the worst feelings I've ever experienced in my life. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright, so, just got tested. <laughs> my nose is bleeding. Gosh, they just shoved that right up there. That hurts like crazy. I feel like they did mine wrong or something. I mean, gosh. I have a massive headache now. So that's cool. Even if I don't have the Rona, they gave me some Rona symptoms. The rest of the day, I'm just gonna stay away from my family. A um, couple things today that are exciting. I'm gonna go down to Richlands, North Carolina, about an hour away and get a, uh, a larger motor for my boat. Found a deal on a Facebook Marketplace for one of those, so I'm gonna snag that. I've got the kayak with me, and uh, I'm gonna do some intercoastal fishing today. So, here we go. Hopefully I don't have the Rona, and uh, hopefully we'll catch some fish. Dude. fishing stuff. I'm gonna do some inshore fishing today. Haven't tried it on these intercoastal ways yet, so first time. Here we go. here for a little bit it's really hot and uh, yeah no fish that's cool I'm gonna go over and uh, go back to the beach one more time check and see if maybe there's waves and if there's not then that's it if there is we'll see you on the waves Choo! all right so uh, got that new boat it's been kind of sitting in here I haven't been done much with it because the uh, motor that I've had uh really just doesn't uh doesn't push it all that well it's a little heavier than my old one so i got this bad boy check it out Woo, buddy so this is a uh predator 173 cubic centimeter gasoline engine and uh this is a lawnmower engine that someone has mounted onto a uh, bottom end of a boat engine and 
works as a boat engine. So yeah, I just started it up, works great. So the next step is I'm just gonna get this boat cleaned up and uh, take it out on the water. And then I have big plans for this boat. I traded my old boat straight up for this one. It's a huge upgrade for me and it's registered so I can take it on the water. What I'm gonna do is probably repaint the whole thing, strip out this uh, subfloor that's in it, put a new subfloor, build some compartments, completely customize this thing, make it brand spanking new. And I may or may not keep it, um, but I may resell it and make some money on it. So we'll see. I do like the idea of having it. Um, I just feel like most of the time when I go fishing, I kind of like kayak fishing lately. So who knows, maybe I'll sell it and then save up for, uh, for like a really nice like family boat. Or maybe I'll keep it for a while and fish from it. So here we go. Uh, probably what I'll cut to right now is I'm about to take this thing out on the water with the new motor for the very first time. All right, so my test came back negative. Uh, I no longer have to uh, socially distance from my family as much. Um, still taking precautions, of course, but got Isaiah with me, and uh, we are heading out to uh, give this new boat engine a try. So hopefully we're going to be blazing the trails of a speedy boat. We are going to the river, dude. That's where we're going. We're going to go fast and hopefully catch some fish. So we came uh, up a ways and found this cool little, actually we went up river and then came back down and then came past the other way where we started at and found this cool little beach here. So what do you think? Do you like this little beach? Yeah. Is that pretty cool? This is part of my acre. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think we're just gonna hang out here for a while and maybe do some, maybe do some fishing Maybe just chill. You. That was fun. That motor is definitely a lot faster than that little two-stroke I've been using. So you can actually get places in the river. Feel like you're moving even against the current. So that's cool. I mean, it's not winning any races. You're not wakeboarding behind it, but it's uh, it's fast enough for what we need to get to little beaches like that and fishing spots. So we had a good time. We didn't catch any fish. We did catch one minnow in the net. Other than that, we just kind of explored, adventured, and. Uh, Ended up at that little beach, playing around and fishing a little bit. Did you have fun, dude? Nice. Probably with this boat here, with this John boat, I'm gonna end up doing some customizations. I wanna paint it. I wanna kinda streamline everything so it's easier to fish from. So stay tuned for more of those videos at some point. Uh, for now though, I'll go ahead and tell you, the next video you'll see is gonna be us uh, in Destin, Florida. We're going 
on vacation in Destin, Florida next week. So um, yeah, that's gonna be super fun. We're leaving this Friday. We're gonna be down there for a solid week. Paddle boarding, fishing, swimming in the ocean, boogie boarding, hanging out at the pool, all the stuff. So we will see you then. Thanks for watching. Give it a like and a subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And we'll see you in Destin, Florida. Yeah.